Well, good morning. It's half past eleven in the morning, and this is a uh, another test of the Center 50C. This time with camera settings at uh, 2.7K at 30 frames per second, and the microphone gain is set to high. Now the reason for that is the other day I went out to do a test and I had the mic microphone gain set to low and uh, a few of the other settings enabled and that was probably one of the worst recordings <laughs> I've ever made with the gain set to low all you could hear was my voice on the onboard radio because I had that enabled to come out of the uh, the entertainment system and recorded by the Sony unit. So today it's a bit of a nicer day. I've changed a lot of the settings. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to post this particular one. Well, my understanding of the gain setting is the higher the gain the more background noise will be let into the unit so I'll try not to shout down the microphone the microphone sort of placed in the same position as always just below my lower lip um, I don't have any external recorder running today that just seemed to complicate the matter when I was doing it the other day There's no image stabilization on, and the voice um, noise cancellation is also turned off. It's my understanding that the, the noise cancellation only works in intercom mode, so I don't think it will have that much effect on the overall performance. Well, we'll see. It's not an extremely windy morning, so I'll just do my normal riding configuration, if you like. Windscreen's in the same spot. My visor is open. For those that don't realise what bike I'm riding, it's a Goldwing GL1800, it's stock, pretty much. There's a few farkles on it, but it's just got stock exhaust, I'm not one for a loud exhaust. I'm getting that bit older now that um, I don't really need the noise quieter the better. Maybe I should look into an electric bike or something. This is uh, 80 kilometers per hour. another bike behind me nothing to do with uh, what I'm doing today it's just some random dude
just managed to find an hour of free time to uh, to jump on the old girl and see what this camera unit can do at this particular settings or these particular settings. Psycho. The section is ninety kilometers per hour. I've got the music playing in the background, but I've turned off the uh, audio overlay, so we shouldn't be hearing any uh, radio coming through. And the main re reason to turn it off uh, is anything that you post online these days, if they hear any music playing in the background, you get slapped with a copyright notice. So, uh, yeah, they have to change the audio, which means changing the voice as well. And so, it's just not worth the hassle. But I can hear it as I'm riding along. I like listening to the radio, because, uh, especially the local radio. Because you get traffic updates here and there. You know, if there's something happening on the road somewhere crash or something that gives you the opportunity to uh, change which way you may be going. Now cranking up to 110 kilometers per hour, the posted speed limit. Getting a fair bit of turbulence from this vehicle in front. Which may be reflected in the uh, audio quality. Just drop back a little bit. Got nothing behind me, so temperature today is eighteen degrees Celsius. at the moment it is anyway. I think when I got up this morning it was somewhere around about 8 or 9 degrees Celsius. Which is uh, sort of normal for um, my part of the world. Take a left here. I think I mentioned last time this this bit of road here is 70 kilometers per hour. There's a few people sort of reached out to me a 
about the uh, the new Senna 50C. There's a bit of concern with it. Is it as good as XYZ? Yeah, the previous models of the Santa, etc. This particular unit is, uh, in my opinion, quite expensive for what it is. Yes, you get your 4K camera, and yes, it's got this uh, on the communication side of things, this mesh technology where you can hook up with pretty much infinite other riders these days. Uh, something, that's something I don't particularly use. I uh, have the wife jump on the back sometimes and you know, we, we talk to each other through center units. But uh, in, in Australia to buy one of these 50 C's you're looking somewhere around about 800 Thirty dollars, approximately. I've seen them somewhere around about eight hundred, and I've seen them a bit dearer too. And I think that, uh, in all honesty, is a bit of a rip-off. But um, we in Australia, in, in my opinion, get ripped off for uh, products. And I, I can talk with a bit of experience in relation to how companies charge for product. In my view, the I won't say all companies, but a lot of companies who sell stuff seem to market the price on what people are prepared to pay. And if that means they can make 100, 200, 300% profit or markup on the product, that's what they will do. Australia is a very small population compared to a lot of the rest of the world. You know, we've only got, I don't know what it is, 30 million people or something in Australia. Not a lot of manufacturing, which, uh, the old COVID highlighted for all Australia sort of had a reliance on overseas manufacturers. I mean, um, I didn't pay anywhere near eight hundred dollars for mine. But, uh, that's another story. I did buy it brand new. Well, the price was probably 25% well, cheaper than I could buy it, the cheapest one in Australia. Well, that's another issue. There's a lot of companies, especially overseas, if you try and buy something, they won't ship to Australia. If they've got a distributor or supplier, in Australia, you can't bypass it. I mean, there are ways and means, obviously. But uh, for the average Joe Blow out there, we're getting uh, handsomely ripped off, I would say. Anywho, I'll get off that one. That's, that's a bit of a pet peeve with me, but anyway. You do what you can do, and I managed to do it, and 